Hey everybody, my name is Bezad. My name is Risha. And we are here from Naked and Famous Denim. And today we've got another very exciting jean to tell you all about. It's the brand new Naked and Famous Denim Raised by Wolves 15 year anniversary capsule collection. And we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, how they came to be, our thoughts and opinions, where you can get a pair, probably a few other things. So stick around all the way to the end of the video. But before we get into it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Risha's gonna get us started off with the specs right after this quick little intro. Race by Wolf's 15 year anniversary denim is a 12 and a half ounce Japanese salvage denim. It's 100% cotton denim and it's made with dark indigo warp and black weft. So it's got this really dark midnight tone going on. And uh, what makes this denim extra special is that we took the Race by Wolf's brand's signature fuck off and we took that and uh we put it right into the salvage id so it's woven into right. the fabric mm -hmm. so uh before we get into like more details about these jeans let's kick it off to cal the creative director of raised by wolves and give you a little bit of an intro behind the brand in case you've you've never heard of them before so take it away cal hey everyone my name is cal and i'm the creative director of raised by wolves if you're not familiar with the brand, we're a Canadian streetwear brand that was founded in 2008, coincidentally the same year as Naked and Famous. All of our clothing is proudly made in Canada too, which is what initially drew us to work with them. Um, I've got incredible respect for anyone still producing their line in Canada, and I feel that Naked and Famous is hands down the best domestic denim brand out there, so it's truly an honor to work with them. Our brand was founded in and is currently based out of Ottawa, but we were in Montreal for seven years, and it was during that time that we had the pleasure of meeting the good folks at Naked and Famous. And over the years, we've produced a series of novelty products that simply say, fuck off, like this ring. And at first glance, it can come off as a bit brash, but that's kind of the point. It's meant to be a big fuck you to bigotry, racism, hatred, and injustice in general. All right. Thanks, Cal. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into the details of these jeans. And now, uh, you might, you may have noticed that it, this denim seems very similar to our vulgar selvage. And the reason for that is because it is based off of our vulgar selvage. And our vulgar selvage famously has all the naughty words woven into the selvage ID. And here we've done it again with Rice by Wolves. This is, in fact, our second collaboration with them. We did one a couple of well, many years ago at this point, uh, but based off the original Vulgar Selvage base, so dark indigo on the outside, white on the inside with fuck off uh, all along with the Selvage ID. This time we're doing it with a midnight tone, as you, as you talked about before. And the beauty of midnight tone denim, so indigo by black, is that the black shows through the front face of the fabric through the twill lines, and it provides this amazing contrast when the indigo fades, mm -hmm. right? So that indigo goes from like dark indigo to uh, like light and bright blue, and it looks even brighter contrasted against that black. And it really gives it like a, like a sophisticated tone, don't you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, it's more of a dramatic fade than anything else. It's just, you know, it really catches your eye. So that's a that's a great feature of mm -hmm. this denim. It's, it's the first time we're doing vulgar with uh, Midnight Tone. Yeah, so that's, that's true. Yeah. And, you know, the, the fabric itself is a pretty classic, basic raw denim. It's 12 and a half ounce. And it, w what I like about this base is that it's crispiness. Mm -hmm. You know, it stays the shape. It's, it's more of a... Uh, you know, crunchy denim. Right. So basically what you could expect from a, like a typical raw denim experience, <laughs> no flop here, as you can see. Now, this is made with a short slub denim. Mm -hmm. And let's see if we can pick up on that when we scratch this. So 100% cotton, short slub denim, indigo warp, black weft, raised by wolves, 15 year anniversary capsule collection. It doesn't have, you know, the the characters that we hear in slav denim. Right. You know, like the jaggedy, like sandy sound. Or it also doesn't have the like a muffled sound of, you know, s softer denim. Yeah. Or, or like a thicker, heavier denim. Yeah. Right? So it's got more of a, I would say this is a, what a classic tone feels mm -hmm. like. And, you know, you don't really pick up on the slubbiness because a short slub denim 
is not like a big slub denim. Big slub denims are very exaggerated between like the thinner parts and the thicker parts of the yarn. Short slub denims are more like slightly imperfectly twisted. Yeah, I yeah. think it's more like similar to what the, you know, good old vintage right. slub yarns were, like the, the times when we couldn't make it perfect. Right, so you won't see it you know, immediately, but when the denim fades, you'll probably see little vertical variations in the fading mm -hmm. as uh, as this denim fades. Yeah. So let's get into the details of mm -hmm. these jeans. There's a lot of details to go over. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start off with the leather patch mm -hmm. and the artwork here. So we got this beautiful veg tan leather patch and it's got this custom artwork designed by our good friend, Andy Belanger, a local Montreal artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's done a lot of great artwork for us here. And uh, you can see on the patch, we've got our classic tragic blonde and she's accompanied by the Raised by Wolves wolves. Uh, but you'll notice that they're all crystal-like in sort, sort of design and shape. And that's yeah. to signify the 15 year anniversary. Yeah, 15 year anniversary theme is yeah. the crystals. Right. Yeah. So uh, veg tan patch, you got that on the pocket flasher. And you'll notice also on the pocket flasher, we've got kind of this gloss print on top of it as well, uh, where you can see flip the cuff to flip them off. So a little, a little hidden detail there. Yeah, the secret message yeah. to y'all. Well, it's not so secret not, anymore. Not so secret anymore. Uh, the secret's out. Uh, and then, uh, go, moving forward, we've got the tonal stitching throughout mm -hmm. these jeans. And usually whenever we do like a midnight toned denim, uh, something with a black weft, we, we accompany it with a tonal stitch. And what I really like about tonal stitch on a dark denim like this is that it makes it look stealthy, but as the denim fades, that tonal stitching becomes a lot more contrast and mm -hmm. you start to notice it more and more. So mm -hmm. I think that's a cool detail as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the mill spec non-reflective buttons and rivets. These are all custom made for us by YKK in the USA. You've got Je t'adore tout new here on the rivets and naked and famous denim right here on the buttons. And uh, inside we've got that dual branded and woven label here on the waistband and then that that signature yeah this is the signature of the denim right mm -hmm. here the uh the fuck off jacarded jacarded yeah. salvage id fuck here off, period yeah, yeah. Fuck off. That, it's, that, a, it's a sentence yeah it is a sentence mm -hmm. uh and what's really neat about this one is that you know we've in our in the past when we've done vulgar salvage we've had a bunch of different swear words and stuff on mm -hmm. the salvage id and when you flip the cuff sometimes you don't see them all mm -hmm. right but this oh, one the coin pocket right you only see this much right yeah. but now for sure, when you flip up the cuff, you get everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. it's it's a great way to uh, let the world know how you how you really feel. So uh, you can enjoy these. Mm. Uh, they're going to be available in a variety of fits. We've got uh, super guy, weird guy, easy guy, and true guy. And to complete the Canadian tuxedo, we've got uh, the chore coat as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're going to be able to get these at, uh, at at just a few locations, right? Uh, Naked and Famous Denim, NYC. Tate and Yoko Montreal, and then we're also gonna have them available at Raised by Wolves. We'll have the links all uh, throughout the description below. They're gonna be available Friday, November 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern. So an exclusive release, just a few retailers. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you like them, now you know where to get them. Yeah. Uh, any any final thoughts here, Risa? Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe some of you guys haven't, you know, didn't know about Raised by Wolves. It's a good good opportunity for you to check them out there. We carry them, mm -hmm. uh, their brand at uh, Tate Nyoko. So check them out. They're, you know, they, they make things in Canada. They're very good friends of ours. Yeah. And, you know, 15 years of friendship. So. 15 years of friendship. When I moved to Montreal, they were one of the first people I met. Mm -hmm. And we've had such a, you know, great relationship with them all throughout just personal and through business and uh, I'm just glad that you know two Canadian brands that really started at the exact same time mm -hmm. coming together to do this capsule mm -hmm. collection so uh, we hope you enjoy it uh, we're excited for it another vulgar an another vulgar salvage we know how much you love these guys uh, so go ahead and get a pair um, and I'm definitely rambling at this point so uh, wrap it up. we'll wrap it up if you got any questions or if there's anything that we missed hit us up in the comments section below we'll be sure to answer your questions there or better yet join us weekly right here on youtube fridays at 7 p.m eastern for the weekly raw denim live stream we answer your questions live we show off new product all all kinds of crazy stuff so we hope to see you there and we'll see you guys in the next video all right bye everyone, bye, everyone.